folks and welcome back to the uh, shed what I've been up to is uh, I've been making some birdhouses these little ornamental birdhouses uh, I've made an old batch of these things uh, just lately they're very popular and um, although I don't sell anything I, I never sell anything uh, but I do give a lot of stuff away to friends and family um, and a lot of people have asked me to make them so I've ended up making a whole load of them uh, I've done a, a quick video have a look at the um, the video and I'll come back and I'll show you the few that I've made I've got a small piece of branch uh, in between sensors it's not running through but that doesn't matter all I want to do is put a tenon on um, so I can get a grip of it and hollow it out Okay, that's fine. One of them tenons can um, come off later. I've now got it in the uh, chuck. The first thing I want to do is make a decision on where, just there I think, to put the entry hole for the little birdhouse. I've now got a 22mm Morse taper drill bit in the tailstock and we're just going to drill this out now that's plenty now get set up for the hollowing tools I'm just going to put a 3 8 ball gouge inside and just uh, make this wider That's plenty, that's fine. Um, I'll just give this a light sand, I won't worry about it too much. Then we'll move on. Okay, I've now got this turned round and in the pin jaws um, so we can address the bottom end of it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically finish this piece off. Um, I'm going to clean it, the bark up first with the brush and uh, a little bit of polish and get that cleaned up. Uh, and then I'm going to select a, a finial from um, the, the pile and I'll put the finial in the um, it doesn't want to be too big, something like that looks okay to me. Here's my little birdhouse. Um, I put a small finial on, I put the perch in, and it's got it waiting for the glue to dry now. Um, and then I'll polish it up with some, uh, some sort of wax or something and just brush it in. So, while that's getting done, we'll start work on the roof. So I've now got this uh, piece of branch off uh, in between centers and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to put a tenon on so I can get it uh, into the chuck. Okay, I'll 
I'll get this turned round now and put it into a set of jaws. I've now got it in the chuck. I've straightened this face off. I'm going to make a recess in this now to accept um, the tenon on the birdhouse. Okay, so that's fine, it just wants to be a bit deeper, but it's um, it's plenty wide enough. Okay, I've finished with this end for the time being, and I'm now ready to do the um, shape the roof, or partly shape the roof. But the first thing I'd like to do is establish my natural edge. Okay. So now I can just basically just start off um, moving some of the bulk away from this roof. It's not. It's only going to be small. And once I've moved the bulk away, I'll turn it round and hold it on expansion mode, and then finish it off. So let me just move some of this bulk. Well, I don't know how far that's um, I was just, my me, me battery just went in the camera, so I'm not sure um, how much we got. So I've turned it round anyway, the roof, uh, and I've got it in expansion mode. All I've got to do now is just finish off this part of the roof. So we'll just do that with a small 10mm uh, spindle gouge. Well, I hope you can see this okay on this camera. Um, so, the roof is now being finished, and we're ready to put it into position. So, that's how it's going to be. Now, this shade here, I'll take this down with some antique paste um, to darken it down. So, let me get that done. I'll get it finished off, glued up and they're cleaned up and we'll come back to the bench and I'll show you it finished okay well here's some of the um, ornamental bird houses that I've made uh, as you can see um, all the scrap pieces that you you end up with you can turn them into these they're, they're very good for that the one I've just been doing on the lathe is this one here it's the, the natural edge one, and this is the sort of um, branch uh, that I typically use, something about that size. You can make the roofs all different shapes, um, and as well as the, uh, the bed house itself, the bodies. You can point them, you can make them round, you can make them oblong. Um, this is more, some of them you can put a finial on. Now some people like the finials on and some don't. So what I tend to do is um, I just make my finials uh, and, and stack them into a block and if I'm going to um, put a finial on I'll just take one off I keep all my uh, tenon sizes the same size one quarter and so I always know it's a quarter old to go in to the finials the thing about these is uh, 
all they are is a box this is why I've got these boxes I've just uh, I made these for me granddaughter's little trinket boxes but basically it has a tongue and it goes into a groove and these are exactly the same they're made in the same way when I make them I tend to make them in uh, large batches so I just make the bottoms I leave the tenon on there and the tenon there and then I just put roofs on as I want them or finials, just drill a hole in the bottom if I'm going to put a, fin a finial on. And the roofs are the same, these roofs, um, these are not finished, but they have inside them the recess so you can put them in expansion mode and either round it off or make it to a point, you can do what you want with them. Um, I tend to make a load of roofs and a load of um, bodies and just match them all together. But I first seen this idea about, oh, I don't know, about 18 months ago from uh, Bob Hamilton, um, his uh, YouTube channel. But it's a really good little project and it's a great project for beginners. Just recently, uh, Mike Walt, done a, he made one of these and he done a, a great how-to on doing it. So if anyone wants to know uh, how to make them, nip down to uh, Mike's um, channel. And uh, he, he goes through it there in detail. And don't forget the uh, UK and Ireland Wood Training Symposium is coming up shortly. And all the details for that will be down below. So, thanks very much for watching everybody. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, whatever you're doing in your workshops, work safe. I'll see you all soon and bye for now.